a specific level of sportiness for a low cost, here and there or, this was referred to as a farmer's Porsche in the 1990s. The face was back in my mind as I took a test drive of the Aura 07, not without cause, as the prominent Zuffenhausen models are strongly reminiscent of the goggle-eyed front with the high, rounded fenders. With the Aura 07, GWM is doubling its model range in Germany. The former funky cat to War 03 is getting a big brother in the form of a fully electric sporty and elegant mid-range sedan. How is this sporty elegance received on public roads? A mine scene, on a two-lane road. I stop at a red light next to a Renault Clio. As is customary, the driver lets his eyes stray to the left. He abruptly stops moving. He raises an eyebrow dubiously as he glances back to the front of the Aura 07, along the sideline, to the rear, to me, and back to the rear once more. Then the light turns green and he gets lost. To be honest, seeing a GWM Aura 07 is, to put it politely, unique. It has a chihuahua-like, eager, and cuddly appearance up front. In between a Porsche, a VW Beetle, and a Mini. Unquestionably a unique family face, which is also present in a shorter version in its younger brother or 03. But not the sideline that seemed to go on forever on a 2.87 meter wheelbase. It takes a bit more than getting used to the excessively bulging coupe rear with the little extended rump and the fried egg yolk tail lights. I spent some minutes skulking among the parked cars following the test drive, from front to rear and vice versa studying a range of subdued colors, attempting to mentally approximate the dimensions in some way. It didn't exactly work, though. As though the Hyundai Ioniq 6 and Porsche Panama had previously shared a great deal of enjoyment.